We talked a little bit earlier about calcium and the importance of calcium, but let's talk about now about the type of calcium. Which type of calcium is best? So I had this graphic created and this graphic is basically saying that there are many different types of calciums. Some of them are very inexpensive. You can go to Costco and get a big jar of it for five dollars, but they're very poorly absorbed. There's other types of calciums that are in the middle somewhere. And then there's the calcium that we recommend, which is called microcrystalline hydroxyapatite. This is the one that has the highest absorption levels in human beings. The problem in the past was it comes from actual bone. Bone concentrates heavy metals, cadmium, lead, arsenic. So it was not possible to give a person bone. But now we source that bone from New Zealand, from calves actually, in New Zealand, where there's very little pollution. And the calcium is lab tested to make sure there are zero heavy metals in it. And now we can use microcrystalline hydroxyapatite, this very highly absorbable form of calcium in human beings. We also know that there's a specific type of exercise that's used with uh, calcium. We don't want to just give the person calcium. We want to also drive that calcium into the correct parts of the body. And how do we do that? Exercise. Calcium is a charged ion. In other words, it's a particle that has a plus sign on it. So if the person engages in exercise where they have heel strike, it creates a piezoelectric effect in the body and that charged calcium ion is driven into the bones. So yes, we need to have the correct type of calcium and we need to combine that with the correct type of exercise. And this is going to reduce the amount of osteoporosis that we see in people with scoliosis. And the question is, why do people with scoliosis get osteoporosis? Why do people with scoliosis develop lone bone density? Well, it's puzzling because it used to be thought that the osteoporosis caused the scoliosis, but now we know, in fact, it's exactly the opposite. When an adult has the scoliosis, they have postural collapse and they fall down on their abdominal contents. This actually slows down absorption through the gut wall of the calcium. And so the person develops osteoporosis as a result of the scoliosis. So we give them hydroxyapatite, we tell them what exercise to do, and we're able to improve that. And you, you also are aware that I have a master's degree in Chinese medicine. So we're gonna use oftentimes Chinese medicine to improve their digestive function. So we have improved digestive function, we have the correct type of calcium, and we have the correct type of exercise. And those things together are gonna to be the greatest help to an adult with scoliosis at risk of developing osteoporosis. Thanks for watching. I hope you found all this information helpful. Please subscribe if you'd like to have more information about scoliosis and don't forget to hit the bell. That'll alert you whenever we publish new information. And if you've got any questions, write them in the comments field and I'm going to make sure to address them in a future video. Thanks for watching.